How's it going everybody? Welcome back to our Ratchet Gladiator Let's Play. In the last episode we finished the qualification course and I bought the super weapon. Yes, we bought the Harbinger because over the two dread challenges we did, we managed to get to a times 20 which allowed us to have a uh, gain a ridiculous amount of bolts. So obviously, like I did say, we will eventually eventually get around so we can afford we'll buy them all at the same time so we can eventually afford them and then these other weapons will start to work on but yeah so we bought the harbinger this is going to be fun it had, does have limited ammo so we'll be back and plus we have went to catacomb 4 it does have limited ammunition because we're actually giving like a super weapon like crazy amount of ammunition you know what I mean <laughs> it's like hmm I have this super weapon Let's give it all the ammo. <laughs> oh no, the two words fall into the wrong hands. Here is a nice little perk. In challenge mode, you can now buy basic mods at the weapons vendor. Ratchet's first objective is a gimme, Juanita. All he has to do is make his way to the other side of this mountain pass. One of your combat bots is incapacitated. Use the revive command to bring him back to life. Yeah, it doesn't really work. The issue is the harbinger doesn't really work against um doesn't really work very well against the other ones. It doesn't really work well against the tiny little fast moving ones, but. Used toward the Catacrom Burial Dome, they'll need to cross what I like to call the chasm of endless falling and eventual dying. In the unlikely event that they survive, they'll take control of the big, bad, and burly walking armor tank called the Land Stalker. Good luck, kids. Ratchet, you have to capture all three nodes to extend the bridge. You should check out the Shield Link feature. Just press the right directional button to. Oh, the level, the level. We'll go get some ammo. Oh, this is more fun than a busload of cheerleaders. Expand your map at any time to get a better view of the area. Here's a chilling thought. Team Darkstar is walking on top of a giant robot. Yeah, see me. Just me when we're using this, we might go back a lot of the time and get some ammo. Probably. Oh, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try not use this all the time. The longer we can keep like this high, um... Ratchet, according to Dread Zone show requirements, enemies appear red on the radar. Allies appear green. Challenge objectives appear blue. Oh, 
No, 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 no. In the air. I'm just gonna use this because it's good. So it said it doesn't. So it doesn't. We don't. We don't, we don't, we don't lose. I'm actually trying to use the dual vipers a lot more now. It's then uh, we can have. I'm gonna. I think this run's gonna try and not use as many until they're all like V10. I'm gonna try and not use the same weapons to try and get as many of them to V10 as possible. This is where the freeze mod does come in handy. Why not heal me? Why can't you heal me? <laughs> What did you learn last time? What do you know, folks? Ratchet well, this is a lot harder though. Gee. Can barely... This all-terrain mech of destruction comes fully loaded with power steering, AC, jumbo-sized drink holders, and enough plasma mortars to take out a small star system. Team Dark Star's not out for a Sunday drive today, folks. They'll be blazing a trail right into the center of the Catacomb Burial Dome. Ratchet. You will have to use the Landstalker's mortars to destroy those Quasar orbs. That should clear the way. They say war is hell, Juanita, but where does that leave Grand Soda? Uh, below hell? Yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day, wonderful time. I was probably a bit late into the end of the but hello. I hope you're having a lot. Guys, you know, time six, we gain kind of about 31, 31 volume bolts. Feels like there are a lot more enemies though. Stay alive. They're coming up from the ground. 
No. They're, co they're coming. They're coming up from the sky. Oh, so it's two, is it two levels? Two levels, game. It's, I was just like, it's not the super weapon for nothing. Popcorn! Best popcorn. It'd actually, be, it'd actually be the best popcorn in the world to make you want to kick your best friend. Especially, especially that. It'd have to be some pretty good popcorn. Oh, Merc, that's not, that's not very nice. No way. Don't be! Don't be worried, mate. It's fine. That's the hackery which we have to get because we can't unlock that one. Well done, Ratchet. You have completed your first Dread Zone campaign and won a medal. You have also unlocked a new set of objectives called Dread Challenges. Earning medals and defeating Dread Challenges are the okay. key to survival in Dread Zone. Your status on Dread Zone now allows you to access Planet Serathos. Okay, but we're gonna do the dress challenges anyway. I know we already did some we got. Oh, but you already did them in the other the other thing. Uh yeah. But see, I'm gonna be able to red zone favorite. Our contestant will have to destroy three ancient statues all in a matter of minutes. You gotta love it. Ratchet, command your bots to place their explosives on each. I was just thought the scorpion file is pretty terrible. But we never bought the weapons. What I want to know is how Ratchet uses the bathroom in that suit. Uh I pee. Pretty much. Oh, me too. Because even as you, you do need to stand back, and you can. There we go.
Ooh, that was close. Oh, me three. Okay, it does level up quite quickly, but it is the case of you got to be quite close to your enemy to use it. Rapid fire. But challenges like this where there's loads of enemies are ones where this works re where, where this weapon works really well. Cause you're able to just go boom, 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 boom. No mean. No mean. You're gonna do that. And it I need to work. That five star. It's time to hop into the land stalker. Take out as many enemies as you can. Ooh, that was close. It's like they just didn't spawn in then. Not the only one who saw that. It's like they just waited to spawn until they're right then. Look, I killed 80! I killed 80! And it was like on the only percent one. Now for the Hoverbike Madness. Let's try last time. Let's try again. You know, I gotta get me one of those battle suits, Juanita. I don't know why. They're very uncomfortable after a while, you know. No, I missed. You're kidding me! Look how got off of... Turn you stupid! Turn you stupid! Get it the, get it the, get it the way, stupid thing! <laughs> well, 
Well, we, we, we failed that the minute we got stuck. Ay, ay, ay. I'm so mad. <laughs> you almost had that first try. First try as well. Almost did it. Challenges can be completed in any order so once obviously, we're gonna jump back to. Jump you know, back to just as, just as we do, just in case there's a nice cheeky little cutscene. By the it, yes, we have a cutscene. Because usually you can hear the. Ah. Uh, <laughs> level five. Level six. <laughs> Only if trading cards are that dangerous that you do that and it's like it just actually goes. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, really annoyed that I didn't get that first try actually. But, you know. Uh, look, at, we get, we're, we're already at 1.4, so we're probably close to picking up the, the first mega weapon. So, thanks for watching, remember to like, subscribe, and until next time, see ya!